Here's problem 28, 19. Determine the current in the 10 volt EMF shown in the 10 volt battery. Let's mark our batteries first. We have a 10 volt battery here, long and short bars, positive and negative. 15 volt battery over here, positive and negative. Sounds good. Let's assume current directions. Let's go with our batteries first. And this first branch over here will go with the orientation of this battery. And we'll say that I1 is coming around like this. And we'll go with the orientation of this battery in this third branch as well. And we'll say that I3 is coming around like that. Now we have a feeling that I3 is probably bigger than I1 because uh, it's got a larger battery in its branch. So I'm going to need something to supplement I1 in order to make I3. So I'm going to have I2 come up like this. I could be wrong, but uh, if I'm wrong, I'll just come up with a negative uh, current for one of these answers, so I'll, I'll still be okay. So we have this junction up here where the three currents are concerned, and I1 and I2 are flowing into that junction. I3 is flowing out. So my first equation would be I1 plus I2 equals I3. Okay. Now, I want to find I1, so I'm going to focus in on the branches that have, or on the loops that have I1 in them. And that will be the left loop and the outer loop. So, if I do the left loop, I want to mark my resistors as well. So, for I1, positive and negative like this. I2 positive on the bottom, negative on top. I3 is going from the right to left through this 5 ohms down below, so positive, negative like that. Okay, so now my left loop, select a starting point, and walking my way around clockwise, I have a negative 10 plus 5I1 minus 5I2 uh, equals 0. So that means that 5i2 is equal to um, 5i1 minus 10, or i2 equals i1 minus 2. Okay, let's look at the outer loop. And walking from the same spot, I'm going to have a negative 10 plus 5i1. Walking all the way around to the right, I got negative 15 plus 5i3 equals 0. So that means that uh, 5i3 is equal to 25 minus 5i1. Or I3 is equal to 5 minus I1. Alright, I know that <clears throat> I1 plus I2 equals I3. So we have I1 plus I2, which is I1 minus 2, is equal to I3, which is 5 minus I1. So I have that 3i1 is equal to 5 plus 2, or 7. i1 is equal to 7 thirds, which is 2.33 amps. That is our current in that branch that has the 10 volt EMF in it. So that's our answer. Just for curiosity's sake, i2 is i1 minus 2. So that would be 0 0.33 amps. And I3 is 5 minus I1, 2.33. So that is 2.67 amps. So it is true that I1 plus I2 equals I3, but we're focused in on I1. That is the current in the 10 volt EMF, 2.33 amps. That's our answer.